Hello dear friends, good morning. I am Surendra Reddy, Quantitative Aptitude and Classification Trend. So today we will discuss a very important chapter, seating arrangements kind of questions based on some puzzle based. So seating arrangements comes under analytical reasoning which is very most important topic for almost all competitive exams like IBPS clerical exam, SBPO and some undergraduates may write CLAT exam, BBA and BBA exam. And for many CRT, I mean campus recruitment training, you can expect this kind of analytical reasoning questions, where the maximum information is based on but purely analytical skills, which doesn't require any formula. So basically, under analytical reasoning, we have two topics. One is seating arrangement, the second one is puzzles. So today we will discuss a puzzle on seating arrangement. So basically, seating arrangement questions can be of two types. A linear uh, seating arrangement and circular seating arrangement. Let us see that the basic difference between linear circular permutation, uh, sorry, linear seating arrangement and uh, circular seating arrangement. In case of linear seating arrangement, let us say there are four persons who are facing towards the north side. So, we will take these persons are facing towards the north. Let us say A is on second left of B. For suppose if we have this statement, what do you mean by this? A is sitting on second left of B. If we take the position of B here, A will, take, uh, A will, A will sit on the second left of B. First left, second left. Here this is the possibility for A. So there is another case that is if the position of B is here then the position of A is here. So like that you can have the references about the variables to fix up. But whereas in case of circular seating arrangement you don't have any references. First suppose let us take a statement. This is linear uh, seating arrangement question guys. Generally you can expect linear seating arrangement questions in clericals as well as some undergraduation level kind of exams. Now, if they want to twist the question, they will make the question by using circular, circular arrangement. In circular arrangement, you can easily work out the question if all the people are facing the center. But still, they can twist the question by framing the questions like, uh, let us say there are 8 people and they are sitting around a circle. Some people are facing the center and some people are not facing the center. You can easily work out the question if everybody is facing a center. But it takes some time and some critical thinking when some people are not facing the center. So this is one of the such questions where some people are facing the center and some people are not facing the center. Let us take when there are 8 persons, we will take 8 random positions like this. When I say A is sitting on the immediate right of B, A is sitting on the immediate right of B. So, A is on the immediate right of B. If B is facing like this, this is right, this is left. A is sitting on the immediate right of B. So, you can fix any one position for B to fix the position of A. Like that, we will work out. So today we will discuss one important question on seating arrangement in circular pattern when some people are facing the center and some people are not facing the center. So let us go to the question now. The question is four males Ravi, Mahesh, Pawan and Chandu and four females, Anita, Hina, Seema, and Iti, these are the names. They are sitting around a circle in such a way that two males and two females are not facing the center. And no three females are sitting together. Now, this, question, this is question stem. This is followed by four clues. We have four clues, we have to arrange them around a circle, 
by, uh, by taking their positions as well as the directions who is facing the center and who is not facing the center we have to calculate sorry we have to find out by using these clues and the conditions so if you see the question guys there are two conditions what is the first condition the first condition is two males and two females are not facing the center and we don't know what are those names who are not facing the center that is one unknown and the other thing is no three females are sitting together so none of the three females cannot sit together so at most two females can sit together so we have eight persons around a circle it's better to consider a circle like this then you have eight persons one two three four five six seven and eight now clue number one chandu is second to left of seema who is not sitting next to mahesh so to find out the position of chandu first we should know what is the position of seema because for suppose if seema is sitting here and facing like this chandu is second left that means this is first left this is second left that is the position of chandu but in this question there is no information about the direction in which seema is facing so without knowing the direction of seema we cannot fix the position of chandu why for suppose if seema is facing like this i mean on the way that i am looking at you first left and then second left then this will be the position of chandu so in a circle we don't know in which direction the seema is facing so this is not a valid clue so here i want to tell you one point guys in competitive exams especially in seating arrangements the clues can be in jumbled manner so many people will try to work out the question always by taking clue number 1 so it is always not possible to solve the question by using clue number 1 always so if the particular clue is not giving a valid information let us skip that clue and go for the next clue so here do you understand why i am skipping this step i am skipping this clue because we don't know the direction of seema as in this so this clue we will use later now clue number 2 it is third to left of anita and one of them is not facing the center when you say one of them is not facing the center who is not facing the center it can be either anita or iti for suppose if you take the position of iti here then anita has to sit here to face the center for suppose if anita is facing outside the center then iti will occupy this position now are you getting me guys when anita is facing outside this is left because first left second left third left sorry this one guys this is third left so when seema is facing the center this becomes third left so this clue is also not giving valid information so skip that clue go for next clue i mean the third clue guys so what is the third clue here the third clue is pawan is third to right of mahesh who is facing the center now mahesh is facing the center always remember after kama this who represent the earlier position earlier person so here who means mahesh so who is facing the center mahesh is facing the center so what you can do is fix any one position for mahesh let us take mahesh is facing the center and he is sitting here when mahesh is sitting here what is third right guys this is third right now so for mahesh this is right and this is left so first right second right and third right this is the position for power this is the position for power and we don't know in, in which direction power is facing that we'll see later so third clue is a valid clue now third or fourth clue. ravi and heena are facing each other and 
they are not the neighbors of Mahesh and Anita. So first understand one thing guys, when you say Ravi and Nikhil are facing each other, what are the two possibilities that they have? So to face each other, this is one possibility and this is the other possibility. So these two are not the possibilities because already Mahesh occupied here. So two people cannot face each other in this case. So similar here also. So these two are the only possibilities to face each other. But if you continue the statement, Ravi and Hina are not sitting next to Mahesh or Anita. That means Ravi and Hina cannot sit next to Mahesh. So if you take this position, either Ravi or Hina, or Hina or Ravi, any of them can be sitting, no? They become adjacent. But here, they are not the neighbors, no? So this possibility is not true. So what is the only possibility that they have to face each other? Either this or this. If this is the position of Ravi, this is Hina. Or if this is Hina, this is Ravi. Anyhow, they are facing each other. Here you can fix the position of Anita also. So in analytical reasoning, each and every clue gives a lot of information which is unknown for us. We have to search for the information. So here Ravi and Hina are not the city, uh, not neighbors of Mahesh as well as Anita. If you look at this statement Anita, this word Anita. Ravi Hina or Hina Ravi. If you take Anita here, they become neighbor. But here the question is, they are not neighbors. If you take Anita here, they become neighbors. If you take Anita here, they become neighbors. So the only possible position for Anita is the top one, that is Anita. So we used fourth clue also. Now I can come for the first clue. What is the first clue? Chandu is second to left of Seema, who is not sitting next to Mahesh. So here who means Uma? Who means Seema? Now Seema is not the neighbor of Mahesh. Where is the position of Mahesh? This is the position of Mahesh. So Seema cannot occupy this position. Seema cannot occupy this position. Why? Because Seema is not a neighbor of Mahesh. So the only possible position for Seema is this top one. This is the position of Seema. Now, with respect to Seema, you can fix the position of Chandu. How? Chandu is second to left of Seema. No? So, first try to find out in which direction Seema is facing. For suppose, if Seema is facing inside the center. I mean, Seema is facing the center. For Seema, that is left, this is right. If you go to second left, this is first left and this is second left, that is already occupied by power. That means what? Seema is not facing the center. Seema is not facing the center. If Seema is not facing the center, what is second left? First left and then second left. Uh, second left. Because if Seema is facing outside the center, that is right and this is left. So this is the position for Chandu. So out of seven persons, we did all, all this arrangement except Iti. So the only possible position for Iti is this one. This is the position of Iti. So we used first clue also. Now come to second clue guys. Iti is thought to left of Anita and one of them is not facing the center. You know the position of Iti and you know the position of Anita. We have to find out this the, the direction. First suppose if Anita is not uh, not facing the center, it becomes first right, second right, third right. But the question says third left. That means Anita is facing the center. One of them is not facing the center. No, that means it is not facing the center. We used second row as well. Now we have two conditions. What are the conditions guys? No three females are sitting together now. So all three females cannot be adjacent. So here we have Anita, we have Seema. So it is not possible to take the position of Hina here because if you take Hina here, 
all three females come together which is ruled out by the given statement so this is the position of ravi and this is the position of hina so we need this condition as well why i am taking the position of ravi and hina guys because if you take hina here all three females become adjacent which is against the given condition now the other condition two males and the two females are not facing the center so out of four males mahesh and ravi are facing the center by default other two are not facing the center so pavan is not facing the center chandi is also not facing the center at the same time two females are also not facing the center so who are those females who are facing the center hina is facing the center anita is facing the center that means seema and aditya not facing the center so hope you understood this question here i want to say only one point in analytical reasoning questions always it is not possible to solve the question by using the first clue the clues can be in jumbled pattern it is our strategy how to find out and where to start the question so that comes with a lot of practice so this is my first video on the seating arrangement in the couple of days i will keep lot of questions and lot of videos on the seating arrangement thank you have a nice day and please do subscribe to my youtube channel surendra reddy a thank you